remiss if I didn't ask you about that letter you signed on to from former intelligence officials saying that uh, the laptop and the emails had all the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. Frankly, I haven't seen any evidence from any intelligence agency that that was not the case. You don't think that it, it was real? I, I think that... Uh, Remember way, way back in 2020, just before the election, when Hunter Biden's laptop was turned into the FBI and the New York Post broke the story, showing among other unsavory things that Hunter and Joe Biden were doing business together in Ukraine. It could and should have been devastating to Joe Biden's chances of victory in the election, if not for a plot by Joe Biden and Anthony Blinken to widely suppress the story falsely as Russian disinformation. To do this, the Biden campaign re reached out to former CIA director Mike Morrell to contact the so-called 51 intelligence experts and get them to lie to the American people. So the Hunter Biden laptop story could be censored and suppressed. Facebook and Twitter literally blocked the story, banned anyone posting it, and even banned the New York Post themselves. One of America's oldest and most read news publications. Real CCP style, Russian state suppression type stuff. As we now know, the Hunter Biden laptop story turned out to be true and you can never unsee just how corrupt and tyrannical our government has become. Well, today I'm going to show you one of the architects of this scheme to interfere in the 2020 election on Fox News, saying that not only does he have no regrets for lying, but that he actually thinks the laptop story is still Russian disinformation. Yes, really. But they're investigating still uh, the Hunter Biden situation. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about that letter you signed on to from former intelligence officials saying that uh, the laptop and the emails had all the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. Obviously, the New York Post and others saying the Hunter Biden laptop letter was the real disinformation all along. Um, that letter was used in the debate. I haven't asked you this. But do you have regrets about that now looking back, knowing what you know now? Well, you know, Brett, look, I, I was extremely concerned about uh, Russian uh, interference uh, and misinformation. And, and we all know it. intelligence agencies discovered that Russia had uh, continued to uh, push uh, disinformation across the board. Uh, and my concern was to kind of alert the public uh, to be aware that these disinformation efforts went on. I'm sorry, what the f did you just say to me right now? This is unreal. The only disinformation that was spread came from Leon f Panetta and his 50 traitorous cohorts. Not to mention the four years worth of actual Russian disinformation that was spread around the country by our government and our media in an attempt to undo the 2016 election results in the form of the Russian collusion scheme. I get the feeling that's what all of this is about. They never got over the 2016 election loss and they blame Russia. They hate Russia, which is why they brought us to the brink of nuclear war over it. Uh, and frankly, I haven't seen any evidence from any intelligence agency that that was not the case. You don't think that it, it was real? <laughs> I, I think that uh, I think that disinformation uh, is involved here. No shit. I think Russian uh, disinformation is part of what we're seeing everywhere. Uh, I don't trust the Russians, and that's that's exactly why I was concerned that the public not trust the Russians either. I don't want to dwell on this because we have bigger things to talk about and bigger urgency, uh, but obviously Hunter Biden said it was his laptop, and and this investigation continues. So, what the f is so funny? You don't have any oh. regrets about doing what you did. No, I don't have any regrets about not trusting the Russians. Okay. See what I mean? This guy is gone. Let me make this perfectly clear for any Democrat who might be watching and thinks the spook is on to something. The laptop and the data on it have already been verified by the FBI as real. In a Washington Post story about the IRS whistleblower, it notes that the FBI got the laptop in 2019, verified the contents as real, and that none of it had been tampered with or manipulated. And just 
to put a cherry on this shit Sunday, Hunter Biden is currently suing Rudy Giuliani and the computer store owner over the laptop that this lying former CIA director still claims is Russian disinformation. If that doesn't open your eyes about these people, nothing will. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna love this. All those intelligence experts who lied and spread disinformation are being rounded up for a new government ministry of disinformation. Because of course they are. Well, there goes my sanity. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check back tomorrow for another one.